Okay, let's jump right in. This week, one of the new films opening in AMC theaters everywhere is the final installment of the Hangover series, The Hangover 3. John, you had a chance to watch the film at the red carpet premiere last night. How was it? Um, well, I mean, the first Hangover film became like an instant classic. It, it, nobody saw it coming. Everybody thought, oh, this looks like a little throwaway comedy. And it turned into this unbelievable juggernaut of comedy that's gonna I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. The second one was as surprising as the first one was, the second one was equally disappointing. It was just terrible. It was just a rehash. So I, I had hopes for Hangover 3. I got to tell you, I, I loved the movie. I really did. I loved Hangover 3. I thought it was really funny, and I'll use, you You won't hear me use this word often, it was the perfect ending Whoa. to this series. Mm -hmm. Not that it was a perfect movie, or perfect, but it was the perfect ending to this series. It wasn't just a rehash of the first one like the second one was, mm -hmm. but not only was it incredibly funny, the, they, the filmmakers did everything right in that they made it feel, suddenly now it felt like a trilogy. Mm. It didn't feel just like three separate films with different gags. All of a sudden, this one film, Hangover 3, made the entire series feel like a cohesive trilogy. They brought around all the story loops. They connected everything really well. And, oh my gosh, stay after the credits. <laughs> don't worry. You don't have to wait through all the credits. Just stay for the first 30 or 45 seconds of the credits. They put in an extra scene. It was the perfect way, the perfect scene to end this franchise. It's great. Everybody in it's funny. Uh, John Goodman was a really great addition to it. Chow plays a much bigger role. But when you look oh, at Chow. his progression through the series, it was really right. And the way he ties in with the guys and the way the overall story of The Hangover really is about these three guys and Chow. And what also kind of stands out is that Alan, the Zach Galifianakis character, actually kind of becomes the focal character of the series. He becomes the main guy in the series. Not that he has more screen time than everybody, but you just realize that his story in this is kind of the main crux. The movie's really funny. I'm not. It's not as great or as memorable or as classic as Hangover 1, but a huge improvement over part two. And it's so good that it actually makes part two a little bit more bearable oh, when you see how it all ties together as one big story. I'm very impressed with it. And, you know, I got to tell you, I was telling Amy Rosas, too, that this is going to be one of those rare times that I really differ with the guys, with all the other critics in the world when you sum up their ratings on Rotten Tomatoes. Because right now, I think Hangover 3 has like a 50%. And I think that's tragically low. I believe this was a this film was done right. It's funny, makes you laugh, and it makes a cohesive story. So for me, a big thumbs up. Amy Rose, you were on the carpet last night. Mm -hmm. For talking about some of the, some of the energy, of the, like what were you sensing from the cast and the crew of the film last night? You could just tell they had so much fun together making these films. And, you know, a lot of them we talked to Heather Graham, and she was really sad that it was ending. And Zach Galifianakis is exactly what you imagined him to be, just super goofy <laughs> and silly and animated. And, you know, we spoke with the writer who, as well who wrote the second film and the third and kind of just how it felt to say goodbye to this wolf pack for him. And it's just a great production. I haven't seen the film yet. I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm really happy to hear that it's better than number two because oh, yeah. that's an example of literally just trying to do the same exact formula and missing. So I'm glad to hear they kind of reinvented it, closed the loop, and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, it's a great job. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and we'll keep you up to date on all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to find out about our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.